Hi, we are Diego Mendoza Halliday and Andre Bastos from MIT and Vanderbilt University. We report the discovery of a ubiquitous laminar motif of local film potential power across cortical areas, individual subjects, and studies. It has been well known for over 100 years that the cortex has a laminar organization. These layers contain cells with distinct connection patterns and morphology and are thought to perform distinct computations. However, it has been difficult to determine the exact computational significance of the cortical layers because no study has systematically characterized them. We recorded from a total of seven areas and four monkeys with multi-channel probes that were implanted perpendicular to the cortex. We then asked whether distinct layers have distinct neurophysiological features and whether these features are preserved across different recording probes, areas, monkeys, and studies. It was striking to us to observe a pattern in the local field potential characterized by stronger relative power in the gamma band in the uh, superficial layers and stronger relative power in the beta band in the deeper layers. If we characterize this relative power across all possible frequencies shown on the x-axis and recording depths shown on the y-axis, we observe a spectral laminar swoosh pattern. This pattern can also be summarized as line plots representing relative power in the beta and gamma frequency bands. We use their crossover point as a criteria to align across probes. Besides the spectral laminar pattern, the only other well-characterized physiological laminar pattern in primate cortex is current source density, or CSD. By exciting a cortical area, in this case with a visual stimulus, there will be a deflection in the local field potential trace. By taking the second spatial derivative, of this data, we can calculate the pattern of current sinks and sources. The prototypical pattern is characterized by an early sink around uh, 50 to 75 milliseconds after stimulus onset, corresponding to layer four. We set the zero point relative to this early sink to align across probes. Preliminary histological analyses suggest a spatial relationship between the spectral laminar and CSD patterns both aligned to layer four. Visual inspection of the spectral laminar Power spectra confirmed that across the data set, this swoosh like pattern was preserved. Relative power in the gamma and theta bands was higher in superficial layers relative to deep layers. And in the alpha band, there was higher power in deep layers. This pattern could be readily observed within individual example probes and also held in each monkey area and, st and study. Next, we quantified the consistency of the spectral laminar pattern by computing image similarity between the spectral laminar images from different probe recordings within and across brain areas, monkeys, and studies. High image similarity values were observed for most comparisons, and all values were significantly greater than expected by chance. These results suggest that the spectral laminar pattern is ubiquitous across cortical areas and monkeys and robust to differences between studies. We then compare the consistency of CSD patterns across probe recordings to that of spectral laminar patterns. We obtained CSD for all individual probe recordings and their area averages and computed image similarity between CSD images. For all comparisons within and between areas, monkeys and studies, image similarity was drastically lower between CSD images than spectral laminar images. These results show that the spectral laminar pattern is more consistent than CSD. We further found that mean, mean image similarity was higher for comparisons of spectral laminar images within each monkey than between monkeys. Likewise, image similarity was higher within each area and within each study than between. Therefore, while the spectral laminar pattern generalized at these three levels, they show more diversity between groups than within groups. This partial generalization was also true for CSD, but all image similarity values were much lower than for spectral laminar patterns. In summary, we report the discovery of a laminar pattern of relative LFP power in the macaque cortex consisting of higher gamma and theta relative power in superficial layers and higher alpha beta relative power in deep layers. This spectral laminar motif is highly consistent across individual probe recordings, a variety of cortical areas, individual monkeys, and studies from different labs. This suggests that the motif is a ubiquitous property across all macaque cortex and represents a physiological signature of the well-known six-layer cortical anatomical motif. Whether the motif is ubiquitous across the species remains to be determined. We introduced a frequency-based layer identification procedure, or FLIP, to locate ele electrophysiological recordings with respect to cortical layers based on the spectral laminar pattern. The procedure identifies the recording contact at layer four and locates all other contacts relative to it. Because the spectral laminar patterns are more consistent and generalized in CSD, our layer identification procedure is more accurate, reliable, and robust than CSD method. 
We thank our, our funding sources and thank you for your attention.